Hi friends, thanks for joining me. It's Morag here and today I have a layout for the sketch challenge this week. And as you can see the sketch there, you can take part two for a chance to win $25 to spend in the store. I'm using the fabulous November kits to create my layout this week. And as you can see, there are lots of gorgeous goodies in the kits. Uh, and I'll also be using the snowflake uh, background die. And I should be using that first. Um, the dies are pretty new to the shop and they are beautiful. Um, they cut through your papers and cardstock like butter. So I can highly recommend those. And um, this one's such a pretty pattern. And I've just gone through um, the machine and I think it will fit most cutting machines like a Sizzix, a Cuttleberg and so on. Um, but I'm sure it'll fit through all of them. Um, with the right platforms and I'm just going to use mine as a background as I mentioned. Now when I'm making this layout I didn't actually have the papers to hand so I've just printed these uh, whilst I was waiting because I'm a bit in advance of um, the release of the November kits um, but we just had to play because they are so pretty. Um, and if you haven't got yours yet, um, do be quick. I know the stocks are low and of course the November kits are always the best. So when I'm creating my layout, um, again, I'm using that sketch. I'm going to be switching things around a little bit just to suit my design and how I like to work. Um, but essentially I will be using the different um, rectangular areas that were part of the original sketch. Um, although I will be setting my photograph straight rather than at an angle. Um, but hopefully at the end you'll see, you know, it relates to the actual sketch. So I've switched some of the pieces. Um, I've created a banner there, a very simple banner. Um, and I am going to use the frames which are part of the main kit. Um, and I'm going to turn that into a shaker pocket. No surprise there, because who doesn't love a shaker pocket? But before I get going, I am going to put on some um, detail onto my background using this beautiful stencil. Now we got this stencil in the January 2022 kit. Um, there are actually three stencils in that kit. And I've just checked um, if it was in stock. And I think it might be out of stock now. No surprise. Um, but you could use any kind of lacy stencil. Um, this one is just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. And all I've done then, as you can see, is use a brush um, just to blend that ink through onto the background. I absolutely adore stenciling. I find it a very controlled way to add some mixed media or ink or detail to the background. Because um, I'm a bit of a control freak, I think, on my layouts. <laughs> just make me a bad person though. So I'm going to start sticking down and I'm using the cardstock kit which goes together with the papers beautifully as you can see and I end up faffing around trying to decide what's going to go where um, when I've decided for sure that I am going to make a shaker pocket and I'm going to use that pattern paper with the knit effect um, as the background. So this is a really simple pocket. I'm sure you've all made them before. Um, I'm just going to stick the acetate to the back of that um, frame, as you can see there. And I'm just going to apply some foam tape all around the edges. It's a bit fiddly, but um, definitely worth it. So then I'm just going to put some sprinkles in there from my stash, just any old sequins that you have. And then I'm just going to peel back the backing tape for the double-sided foam. So here's my top tip. Don't pull all the tape, the backing off the tape, um, and just leave a bit exposed as I've done there. That way you'll be able to reposition your um, paper really easily. And then you can just pull the tabs to secure it into place. And that frame, it's got beautiful silver gilded um, detail. We are family. 
and um, my photo is actually from a few years ago um, because I've got teenage kids photos are like gold dust <laughs> I hope some of you can relate to that or is it just my family <laughs> so I'm going to use one of the other frames as well just to balance things out and uh, if I reckon rec recall correctly the um, original sketch had different pieces going above so I'm just going to create another piece that goes above the photo although I think I changed my mind and make it go to the side I love that pattern mint is my absolute favorite color in the world look how nicely it goes with that stenciling it was like it was made for one another <laughs> so it's just really important just to get the layers right here um, just so it feels balanced and then I want another piece of paper at the top to poke out above the photo so I'm actually going to use the packaging I don't know if you've ever noticed in hip kits um, through the stickers sheets and die kits and so on everything comes on pretty packaging um, and it's always different every month that coordinates with the kit so I love that attention to detail and I'll often use the packaging to um, supplement the kit not that I ever need to but I hate waste so never throw it away and I'm going to use the um, die cuts from the embellishment kit. So that's the November embellishment kit. Um, and you can see they are pretty flowers. I'm just checking that. I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> Blinds the back. Yes, it's November's embellishment kit. Um, and I've been off and stitched around my pieces. And I turned the packaging into a tag very easily just by snipping off the corners and punching a hole in the middle um, but I cannot resist a tag I love the tag but I think it's the same as a matting piece really except for it's got that hole in where you can then um, actually thread some twine or ribbon through what's not to like about that so I'm just going to rough up my edges with the distressing tool always love that and I'm really loving how it's all coming together it's quite a simple layout because it's based on a sketch um, and I've made my shaker pocket feature as you can see it was really easy and I'm going to cluster the flowers on the bottom left there and then have them sweep up towards the right to balance things off So I suggest when you are working with flowers and foliage um, die cuts and just give them a little bend or a little twist with your fingers um, and that way you'll create a little bit more texture. All right, I'm just going to check. I think the snowman came from the Pocket Life kit. Should have written it down. Yes, Pocket Life, I can see. No, is that in there? Anyway, it's one of the kits. <laughs> So here's a lovely chipboard shape. And I'm just going to layer the flowers and leaves up. Now, I did need to find out how many die cuts are in that pack because there are absolutely heaps of them. So lots of flowers, lots of leaves, which is my favourite thing in the world. Um, I just love to layer leaves um, with flowers when you've got them. And what's more amazing is they're all different. So you might get one or two duplicate or, you know, multiples of one or two designs, but generally speaking, they are all different. Um, so that's absolutely incredible design work there by the team. And I'm going to use these puffy stickers from the embellishment kit. And I love that ho, ho, ho. The colours are lush, aren't they? There's a nice happy pink, red, um, a nice green colour, absolutely lush. And just for a bit more texture, I've got a bit of pom-pom trim from my stash. It's great at the moment because all the Christmas stuff is in the shops and uh, you can find things like pom-pom trim very easily um, for present decorating. 
So one last ribbon on top. And I'm just going to add a bit more detail to that background. Um, the paper is from the cardstock kit. It's a beautiful pink. It's like a sugar, like a sugar plum pink, pink if that's the right word. And I'm just going to distress the edges, as you can see, just to add a little bit of detail and bring that blue across. Um, so it's something I do like to do um, quite frequently. If I've got a lot of white space, something easy to replicate. But that will be more or less it, I think. Um, so I'm going to leave you with the close-ups of everything. Um, don't forget, you can take part in the sketch challenge as well this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my process and are inspired to take part yourself. So don't forget to upload it to the album or to the post in the group, the Facebook group. Um, and we'll pick a winner on the 1st, on the 2nd of December. So I love how that shaker pocket works. Oh, and I added a few uh, more puffy stickers and stars around the place. So thanks so much for joining me. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye.